We're making whole wheat pancakes. It is a pancake recipe that you guys have asked me to make for a long time, and today I'm using whole wheat flour. I'm a one bowl wonder person. I love mixing everything in a bowl. So the first thing I wanna do is measure out my whole wheat flour. Whether you use traditional all-purpose whole wheat flour, organic whole wheat flour, or white whole wheat, it's gonna be denser than an all-purpose flour, the white flour. So we do have a few changes in the recipe from my traditional pancakes, but nonetheless, the ingredients are very much the same. So we got our flour. I'm going to add some baking powder. Baking powder is what makes pancakes fluffy in rice, so you wanna mix this in the bowl together before you pour in the rest of your ingredients. To activate the baking powder, I'm also gonna add some salt. We're gonna mix it all together. This recipe calls for two eggs, so I'm going to place my eggs right in the middle of my bowl. And then I'm gonna add a little melted butter. You can also use granulated sugar, but I'm using honey today, just a tad, to sweeten the batter. It makes, you know, like a whole wheat honey flavor really good. And then milk. I'm using dairy milk, but again, with any of my pancake recipes, you can use a dairy-free alternative. Omit the butter and make this recipe dairy-free. Like all pancake recipes, you want to start by whisking the eggs in the middle of the bowl so that the eggs are well combined with the liquid. And after that, we just simply go around and incorporate the flour into our liquid ingredients. Pancake batter is never perfectly smooth because that means you've probably stirred too much, but you do wanna have all the flour incorporated into your liquid. Okay, so you guys know on this channel, I often use a griddle because it's a really efficient way of making pancakes. And as a mom to three, someone always is hungry, so this way I have more surface area. My griddle is set to about medium heat. You don't want it too hot. I'm gonna pour about a fourth of a cup per pancake. That's just the size that we like, but you can make giant pancakes, tiny pancakes, or sand dollar pancakes. Sand dollar? You mean silver dollar? Is that what they're called? Silver dollar. Silver dollar pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> Now I love whole wheat pancakes because when they cook, they have a toasty smell and that's another reason I use honey in this recipe instead of sugar because honey whole wheat just has a really nice aroma to them. So our pancakes are ready to be flipped. They're bubbly, the edges are defined. We're gonna flip them. One question that people ask all the time is, can I make my pancake batter ahead of time? And while well, I'm gonna go make another batch, the answer is yes. Now, if you only use half the batter and these are enough pancakes for you, that's awesome. This batter can be saved in the refrigerator, covered or in a container for about 24 hours. And then the next day you wanna use it, just give it a stir and whip up another batch. I'm gonna finish off the last of the batter while you guys Head down to the bottom of this video, click on the link, grab the recipes, and get cooking. See you next week.